Sports from KYMA News 11. Holtville Lady Vikings Volleyball is on a mission to take another CIF San Diego section crown. Welcome back, everyone. The Lady Vikings have achieved every goal they set out for themselves. They won the IVL for the first time ever, and they did it with the undefeated league record. They now return to the CIF San Diego Section Division 4 playoffs. You can check that off the box as well. And they have the number one seed and cruising past their opponents thus far. In the opening round of the playoffs, the Vikings, well, needed less than an hour to dispose of 16 seeded San Isidro, defeating the Cougars in straight sets. Then on Friday, Hopeville made quick work of the eight seeded Hilltop Lancers out of Chula Vista, again winning in straight sets at Burger Sports Complex. On Tuesday, the Vikes will play their final match at home, Division IV Finals, semifinals against the four-seeded Foothills Christian squad from El Cajon. Uh, Lady Vikes head coach Chelsea Strom shares how hard her girls have worked for this moment. And this is just a great group of athletes. Um, coach Mariana and I have talked to, talked since, um, since this summer about this squad and just trusting these girls. And they've put in the work, they've put in the time, they deserve to be here. and. Like I said, they're, they're just a very special group. Here are the final two Imperial Valley Prep volleyball teams still breathing playoff life. As a top seed, the Lady Vikes will be playing host to four-seeded Foothills Charter again in the semifinals, while third-seeded Central will play against second-seeded Del Lago Academy on the road. Both those matches tomorrow. Coming off their first Bell game loss to Brawley in five years, the Central Spartans are trying to put the loss behind them and focus on the playoffs. The Spartans are the 10th seed in the CIF San Diego Section Division II playoffs. The Spartans will be on the road this Friday night against 7th seeded Otai Ranch, as in the Mustangs. Spartans head coach Rookie Pena says the Bell game loss stung, but it's now time to move forward. I know, obviously with, with this one, it's, it's one of those deals where in a rivalry okay. game, you do have that little hangover type of deal with that. But again, it's one of those deals where I, I told the kids this morning, I mean, with some of the kids and... We talked about just hey, everything's O and L. You know, everyone has a clean record right now. It's playoff time, and you know, again, the objectives go one and L every week, and anything can happen in playoffs. We all know that. Here's a look at uh, week number 12, as in the lineup for FNL. Now, this is pretty unique because we got the 3A playoffs beginning for Yuma Catholic, and then the CIF San Diego section playoffs also getting started. Plus, we got more regular season action from YUHSD featuring Yuma and Cibola. So we invite you to join us for this week's special episode. We certainly look forward to seeing you then. Well, the Colorado River Swim and Dive Championships were held over the weekend, and one local school snatched up a big win before heading into state. The Cibola Raiders swim team were the big winners of the day. Both the men's and women's squads took home first place honors. Cibola took home first in all relay events, and some great individual performances were also to thank for that title. Felicity McCallan won both the 200 and 500 meter freestyles. Gabe McCallan won the men's 200 individual medley and 100 meter backstroke. And Xavier uh, Comet, as well as Emma Amon, won the women's 200 meter individual medley and 100 meter breaststroke. Head coach Bradley Broshot says that his team's performances were a good sign before heading to state. We're swimming really strong. Um, again, we had, we had yesterday we're just qualifying for today. And um, they've come back and just, uh, we've had good, great time drops. Um, pretty much, there's been a lot of good swims today. So we're just continuing on from yesterday. Um, swimmers getting into state, getting qualifying times. So. The event was held at the Valley Aquatic Center and featured teams from both the local area as well as Phoenix. And finally, we want to pass along the friendly neighborhood reminder that the Olympic countdown is on for the Beijing Games in China. We're now 96 days away. You can only catch the action right here on News 11. All right, we're done with this round of sports. Jenny Adonis, back to you.